Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to Read Switch Tube. In today's video, I'm going to show you how a capacitor works. Also, I'm going to teach you how to make a capacitor at home. So, let's start it. First of all, what is a capacitor? A capacitor is an electronic component which can store charge. Basically, you have two metal plates. In the middle, they have uh, insulators. We will apply charge, negative and positive. The positive go on the first plate and negative also go on the other plate as well. So it's basically negative will attract to positive, but they can short it out to get neutralized until you discharge it. So capacitor actually was a component to storing charge. So now I'm going to show you a simple way how to make one at home. In this project, you may need some aluminum foils, a scissors, some electrical wires, and some plastic cups. Also, you might need some hot glue, glue guns just to help you. The hot glue guns is really important as well, so it can seal it properly. First, you need three plastic cups. And then you find some aluminum foils, wrap it around on the first cup. So just make sure don't short them and then and you will do it another one on the second top the cup and you can put them together. And the third cups is just how it contacts better. And then you can get two wires out of there and there, so you will be a capacitor, simple capacitor. And then you cut the length, well, meanwhile you can also wrap the bottom part as well, it will fill two cups. Roll the aluminum foils till you get the correct size and length. Meanwhile you should cut it around here. Or you could simply get another cup. Just to cut it around and to match the exact size, but I don't recommend you to do that. And then you get some solid tape. Tape the aluminum foil and the cup. Roll around. Oops, oh. And then re-tape it again. And then you could simply squish the bottom bit. If you feel it have extra, you can cut it off just by using a bit of scissors. But the bottom bit will be increase the capacity because it also helps contacts even more. So you should keep a bit of bottom as well. And then do the same things for the second cup. But before you do that, you should always tape them into another cup to squish it nice and tight. So it will help it to contact even more. And make sure making a capacitor not in a moisture area so you can discharge your capacitor easily. Spread wires. And then you could stick to the one of the cups and do the same set for the both of the cups. After you've done that, you could tape it to make sure you got a nice contact with the aluminum foils. Now, after you do that, you can put the wires on the opposite sides and press it down gently with another cup underneath it to push it as tight as you possibly can. And now, first you glue the wires, so make sure they are not wobbling around. And you can start to glue the, the edge, so make sure it's air sealed. Skip. Now, you got to wait it's still cool, then you can test it with a multimeter. Now, after cool down a bit, now I can test it with a multimeter and put it on the capacitor range on the minimum because it wasn't have a big value because it only a capacitor with a tiny capacitance. 
around 0 0.30 nanofarads. So it wasn't bad for a high voltage capacitor. It can bear, I think it can store charge up to 10 kilovolts, I believe. So because the dielectric of this plastic cap is good enough to insulate that much. So for its size, I think it's definitely all right for some homemade high voltage pro projects such as mini tester coil. You can use this capacitor on it. And anyway, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye!